Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a new video, obviously that's why we're here, and oh my god, don't we like this th this hairstyle right here? Yeah, um, I will be doing, hopefully next video, because I really want to do hair tutorials, because I feel like there's so much things you could do with short hair for some reason, I don't know why, but I feel like you could do so many other stuff with short hair than long hair. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's just me being dumb. All right, so we're gonna get into this makeup look. Um, I did do this makeup the other, no, yesterday. Um, today I'm recording this on a Tuesday. I wore um, like this beautiful, smoky, winged out makeup um, on Monday. Um, but yeah, it was really pretty. I wanted to redo it. Um, I'm going nowhere but watching player one. I forgot what it's called, but I like, I'll put like a picture, like, yeah, that movie. Um, I'm watching it with my brother at home with speakers and yeah, I can't wait to watch it. My dad thinks it's good because he watched it, um, without us, how rude. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we're going to be watching that today. So I'm just getting ready for the movie because I want to. So the primer that I'm going to be using, um, uh, I am going to be getting a new one soon because this is like almost empty. Um, but this is the Photo Focus Concealer by Wet n Wild in Ivory Claire Light Ivory. It has two names. Yeah, I'm just going to put that much on my eyes. So I'm going to be taking this Ulta Beauty Finishing Powder. It's a lightweight matte um, uh, powder. And I'm just going to be taking it. It is, it's so dirty. It hit pan. You know, just don't look at it. Just look at the powder, you know. So I'm going to take that with this Morphe big flat brush thing. Yeah, it's kind of like diagonal and it's flat. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'm just going to pack that on my lid. So what I recommend um, you guys doing is if you're doing this kind of look I would go for um, your bronzer and your contour whatever you're gonna be using for your bronzer or contour I would use um, for your eyeshadow on the bottom lash line and the lid um, your crease just so everything blends very well and it just looks like it's all together because you don't want to go in with a different um, especially the look that I'm going for right now, you don't want to go for a different, um, warm tone kind of color, and it just doesn't look all, like, like, together, it just looks like your face is done and then your eyes is done. Um, I hope that makes sense. So, the palettes that I'm going to be using for my contour and bronzer, this is my contour right here, this is the Maybelline New York Master Contour Kit in Medium to Deep. And I use that for my contour. So I'm going to put that in my crease. And this bronzer that I'm going to be using, um, this Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette, I'm using this as bronzer today. So I'm going to be putting that in my crease first. And then my contour. So it will contour my eyes and kind of give me a little bit of definition. So I'm going to be using my bronzer shade. And it's the Too Faced one. And I'm going to grab a brush. Um, this Morphe tapered blending brush right here and I'm going to take that color and I'm just gonna put that right in my crease and I'm really gonna blow this out because just like your bronzer you really want to blow it out so what I'm gonna be doing with this shade is obviously like I said blow it out and make it really define my eye and then the contour is really gonna chisel it out and make it more you know like snatched you know what I'm talking about I don't know. <laughs> now I'm going to be taking this contour color. I'm going to be taking this as contour like I explained. And I'm going to really, I'm going to take the same brush. And I'm really going to go into my socket and really get in there. Just so it gives me some definition. Now, you can if you want to, you can put your contour color on your lid, but I don't want to do that because I don't want this look to be one, like, color. I want it to be very youthful and very, like, pretty, you know? So, I'm just going to keep it like that, and um, yesterday, um, I was just like, I'm going to use a wing liner today. I haven't done, like, a wing liner in so long, so I'm going to do it. 
Um, but I didn't want to use my liquid eyeliners. I wanted to use a gel. Now I have three gels. Two of them, they crease like no other. Um, this one kind of creases a little bit, but it doesn't crease as much as the others. But I'm going to be using this Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black. And it's kind of dry, but it's it's still creamy at the same exact time. I don't know if that makes sense. But I'm going to be using this. I used it and I love it. I'm literally obsessed with it now. Um, so I'm going to be taking this Sonia Kashuk. Um, I think it's a brow pencil, but it can be for liner. And it's so thin and precise. So I'm going to be using this. And I'm going to be doing a wing liner. Um, not a small one, but not a long one, but not a medium one. Like right in the middle somehow of all three of those. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be using a black eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette from Jaclyn Hill herself and Morphe. And I'm going to be grabbing the black, I think it's called Abyss, I could be wrong. But I'm going to be grabbing that black and I am going to um, put that like right in the crease. I'm going to go first at the wing and then start pressing up with the black. I'll show you guys, hold on. So I'm going to be grabbing, where's that brush? I'm going to be grabbing this IBI Beauty um, little crease brush right here. And I'm going to be grabbing that black just a little bit at a time. And I'm going to be putting this right here. Now if your um, like um, gel wing liner um, creases during the day, this will help you. So if it creases, it creases on the black. And you're not going to notice it because black is already there. So, yeah. And this one also, you most likely won't crease because you're doing this step if you have like a creasy um, gel liner. Because you're setting the part where it will normally crease. So, it's not going to, most likely not going to crease during the day. So, I'm just going to go up with that. And I'm going to grab the brush that we took earlier to like blend all those colors that we took and just blend that out into the crease. I'm not going to like go up here or go down here. I'm just going to go right in the crease, back and forth mo motion. All right, so now what I'm going to be doing, I am going to put on my lashes, um, do my full face. I'll let you guys know what kind of lashes I will be wearing today. Um, I'll let you guys know when I come back. Um, and then we're going to do the bottom lash line. Um, and then we'll do the lippy. And then we'll be done. All right, so I did my full face. And oh my god, this is so annoying. So you see this little guy right here and this little guy right here? They want to come join the party I guess but there's no party so someone invited them to a non-existent party and uh, yeah um so that's cool um, I'm not wearing any highlighter today just because of that thing right there um I am wearing blush though um that has a little bit of shine in it so that's that's yeah cool um but yeah, so the lashes that I'm wearing are the um, Allure lashes in the style um, Fiercely Fabulous, I believe. I'll have it down below in the description for you guys if I'm wrong. I'm going to be taking this Luxie um, 239 Precision Shader Brush. And I'm going to be taking the bronzer from the Too Faced palette. I'm pretty sure it's a contour, but I use it as a bronzer and I call it a bronzer. So yeah, sorry if I'm wrong. Um, but I'm going to put that on the bottom lash line all the way in also. I'm going to be taking the contour that I used um, for my eyes um, from the Maybelline Master Contour Kit. I'm going to take the same brush and do the same exact thing that we did with the bronzer. And then I'm going to take the black from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to grab the same brush that I applied it with on the um, crease, in the crease. And I'm going to put that only on the outer part of the eye. Just a little bit. I don't want a lot. Um, so, yeah. I'm 
Now I'm going to be taking my lippy. Um, my go-to lippy is uh, um, the, these two right here. Um, this is the Revlon lipstick. Um, not lipstick. Lip gloss in sky pink. The matte lipstick I'm going to be wearing today is this one right here. Um, I don't know the brand. I got it at Five Below. I have two of them and they're really good formula. Um, but there's no brand name. I don't know the brand. It just says liquid lipstick. So, yeah. Um, but... I'm going to be putting this on my lips first, and then I'm going to be putting on the Revlon lip gloss next. But yeah, so this is what I did like the other day, and I loved it, and it was so pretty, and it was so simple at the same exact time, that I just wanted to show you guys how I did it, and maybe it would be your everyday makeup. I feel like I would wear this every single day and never get bored of it, because it's so pretty, and so natural, but smoky at the same exact time. I love it. And then this lippy so like I love this lippy this is, has been my go-to lippy I don't know why but I love it so much it's so pretty um you can go for more of a nude I just I'm not because like I like how it looks so I'm just gonna keep it like I almost want to do this um makeup on my mom because she has really pretty blue eyes and I feel like this look will look gorgeous on her oh my god I can I'm doing it on her I don't care but yeah um you could do this look with any kind of eye color. I feel like it would look gorgeous with any kind of eye color. Um, so, yeah. If you recreate this look, you know what to do. Um, tag me on Instagram. Send me it on Snapchat. Tag me on Facebook, Twitter. Um, those social media links will be down below for you guys to go check out. Comment down below if you like my hair. And if you guys want to see a hairstyle video for short hair. Because I did one a long time ago for long hair. I can do an updated version. Obviously, I have short hair so I could do that. Um, that would be fun, I think. Um, but yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below what you guys want to see next. Um, uh, subscribe if you're new. Also, if you haven't checked out last video, go check it out. I'll link it down below in the description for you guys. Also, I'll have it at the end of the video for you guys to go press the link. And it will send you right towards that video and you can watch it and give it love also. Um, but yeah, so I don't think there's anything else to say, guys. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!